Sage vs. Taken here. And guess what? With the sales this week, I finally was able to manage to get our Kong set. So this Monarch uh, Outpost set comes with, you know, the creatures from the movie King Kong. And, of course, as you can see here, Creature Contact. Those of you who haven't seen the box yet. There's other sets available. Of course, collect them all. They're all pretty much $7 right now for these three sets right here. And, of course, the other ones are good price right now, too. So, if you're ever looking to get into some of these vehicles or some of these sets, like I had to buy this one because I definitely wanted to get a good version of Samuel Jackson, uh, you know, I definitely would suggest going ahead and getting now. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, take the stuff out of the package, and see what we can see. Okay, so um, looking over this, I'm seeing that the piece right here is actually screwed in place. You can't remove this from the packaging without a screw. Samuel Jackson has also got a strap there holding him in, and there's a strap at the foot. So if you're going to be taking one of these out of the package, just be aware that you'll need either a screwdriver and a box cutter most likely. Uh, let me go ahead and pause the video so we can continue opening up the package. Okay, and we're back. Okay, so before we look at the accessories the figure comes with, let's look first at our little skull monster here. Now, in the packaging, it actually hides how cool his tail is sculpted here. It's sculpted like with a lot of movement around here. Um, there is no articulation of this figure. So that, in my opinion that's the worst part about this because right now you could go and buy a bunch of these but it's not going to look very menacing if they're all in the same exact pose. And I don't mean like, I'm sorry, that's the only articulation of the figure. He's, he's not even able to open his mouth big enough to bite Samuel Jackson's face, hardly. Like, he would really have to not dodge at all. Um, it would really be cool to have one of these that had articulation, where, like, he could be on top of somebody and munching down on him. But, of course, uh, if you buy these sets right now, you're basically getting this for free, in my opinion. I mean, $7 on clearance right now for this set. So basically, this shack and Samuel Jackson is probably worth your $7 right there, even without his accessories. Uh, this body type, normally these figures would be $2 a piece. If it were, if it were, uh, you know, <clears throat> a... And we're back. Sorry about that, guys had a battery issue. So like I was saying, the figure here is actually he made off, made off another core figure. He doesn't have full paint apps on his back, like his belts and stuff are not painted, but he does have that paint app on his hood that you don't normally see with the Rucker body that this figure is from. He has paint apps on his gun, separating it from his regular holster that make it stand out. He has different colored paint apps on his straps versus his pouches, which really, for a core figure, is a very good paint job. So you definitely would want to consider that, even if you weren't interested in having a Samuel Jackson. Because, of course, the only thing that makes this thing Samuel Jackson, which is I would definitely not understand why you wouldn't want a Samuel Jackson, but the only thing that makes this Samuel Jackson is the head. So, um, you know, if you wanted more of these... Uh, figures. You could get more of these figures and do head swaps or whatever you wanted with them and have a whole squad that's all ready for war like that. Now, as far as what comes with a figure, one of the coolest accessory parts to this figure in my opinion is that he comes with these ghillie suit parts. So, these are not new for this figure and they were being held on with like a rubber band in the uh, packaging and I'm sure they would have fallen off in the packaging if it had been bumped around and stuff however if you squeeze them and then clip them on there they're staying on okay um, and then of course 
that's just the arms. We have a whole set of other accessories to look at, so I'm going to stop the video, get the accessories out, and we'll look at those individually. Okay, so Samuel Jackson here with the ghillie suit. Uh, the back part of the ghillie suit is almost like a big cape. It pegs right into the backpack peg. Um, it took me a little squeezing to get it in there the first time, but after it's in there, it feels pretty solid. In fact, it's the most solid part of this ghillie suit. The headpiece, you can see, is loose on the head. There's no real grip to it. But if you were taking photos with this figure, you could easily get some poster tack or something like that to hold it in place, and it would not be visible through the ghillie suit plastic. And of course, you've seen this thing keeps falling off. Uh, but of course, if I heated it up a little bit and then uh, twist and then like kind of squeeze it together, it would probably stay on a little better. But I think that's really cool. The big miss here is that why does he have a ghillie suit? Even if he had a ghillie suit in the movie, um, he doesn't have a rifle for it. The rifles that were given to him are right here. He basically has... A shock stick, uh, kind of like a futuristic pulse rifle shotgun type thing, and a pistol. So it really doesn't make sense for him to have this whole ghillie suit thing going on if he's not going to have, you know, the actual weapon it takes to use a ghillie suit. The idea of a ghillie suit is you are invisible, and uh, quite frankly, I don't know if that would work with one of these guys. If they could smell you, uh, they might have other senses. It'd be like if a dog was tracking you, a ghillie suit wouldn't help you very much unless you had done something else to hide your scent. Now, of course, a military guy might already know that. He would have the training to figure that out, probably. But uh, it is a cool Samuel Jackson figure. Even without the headpiece on here for the ghillie suit, it's looking pretty cool that way. You know, he looks like... He's, he, if he was in a nature scene, he would kind of fade into the background except for his head um, and everything. So I really think to get a Samuel Jackson figure for $7 uh, and to get this shack piece, which has a lot of detail we haven't looked at yet. So let's look at that now. Let me put this down. So, of course, this is a Monarch Outpost number three is what it says. Um, if you look in here... There are maps. There is a paint application on that wood box to make it stand out. Um, paint application on these barrels in the, underneath here to make them stand out a different color a little bit. And of course, there's a sticker along here. And in the back there, you can see the King Kong bio or whatever. Almost as if if they had come to the island, found about King Kong, were studying him before he threw trees through the helicopter. So. This is kind of an alternate King Kong movie. <laughs> anyway, uh, I do want to thank you for watching my videos. Of course, I have another one of these sets to review soon. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll get, be able to see some of, the, uh, some of the Rampage sets or the new figures in my local Walmart. Uh, at this time, they're not there, and it breaks my heart. Thanks, and pour on the plastic.